Okay. Um, so the last problem on your test uh, will be something like this. Now, we only had one day on this last topic. Uh, we're going to do some ideal gases later. Uh, and so it's not going to be much different from this format right here where I'm going to ask you for to calculate the specific volume using so many times I will ask for the specific volume using the super heated vapor tables all right uh, whether it's refrigerant it might be refrigerant it might be water uh, part a I'm probably and maybe gonna ask you to find the specific volume using the property tables right using the property tables um, if I remember correctly this one I started to ask that but Maybe those two numbers were not on the property tables. Uh, probably this pressure was too high. Uh, sometimes, um, sometimes in order to get you a good value on the um, compressibility chart, I, I have to go for some weird pressures and temperatures uh, that may not be on the superheated table. So, so anyway, be ready and able to do um, part A, looking up these values on the property tables. All right. But uh, anyway, this one, we won't do property tables. <laughs> and, 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 and the property tables would be the most accurate. Property tables are the most accurate. But anyway, this one, we're going to look at the ideal gas equation, but then part C, the ideal gas equation with the compressibility factor. And then sometimes I might ask you for the error. You know, if, if we do know the, the, the most accurate value from the property tables, uh, which one is most accurate? It would be the property tables, which one is least accurate? All right, so anyway, part B. Ideal, ideal gas equation, PV equals RT. The pressure, 16 MPA. Um, you, you can look at our units here, which, which we will look at when we do R, uh, but for the units to work out, I'm going to use KPA, and if it, that's MPA to KPA, it's off by 1,000. So 16,000 kPa times the specific volume, which is what I'm looking for, times R. What is the R for um, the uh, refrigerant? That would be right here at the very front table, A, um, A1 for refrigerant, which is R134A right here. The R value 0 0.08149, which is kilojoules per kilogram K, but it is also equal to kPa meters cubed per kilogram K. That's what I'm going to use. Um, here we go. 0 0.08149 kPa meters cubed per kilogram K times the temperature. What's the temperature? 250. Can I just plug in 250? Uh, hopefully that K gave you a, 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 a reminder. This has to be absolute temperature in these um, uh, ideal gas equations. Uh, so 250 plus 273. Um, I don't, I usually don't put the 0.15, but you could. Um, so there's the temperature, 523. All right, 523 Kelvin, and then solve for specific volume, 0 0.00266 meters cubed per kilogram. So that's part B. Okay, but part C is using PV equals ZRT, right? Using this compressibility factor from the compressibility chart, how can I read that C? In order to read that C, I need P, uh, R, and T, R. What is re P, R, and T, R? Reduced pressure, reduced temperature. That is the current pressure divided by the critical point pressure. That is the current temperature divided by the critical temperature. So from right where we were, table A1, here are the critical point values. The critical pressure... 4.059 MPA. Be careful. That that one is actually an MPA. The temperature, 374.2 Kelvin. All right. So let's take the 
current pressure of 16. And so here I could keep MPA because I'm dividing by 4.059 MPA. You could see that taking 16,000 divided by 4,059, we would still get 3.94 is my PR, my reduced pressure. The temperature, 523 Kelvin divided by 374.2 Kelvin, 1.40. All right, so I would take a PR of 3.94, a TR of 1.4 to table figure chart A15. A15, a TR of 1.4, a PR of 3.94. <clears throat> All right, so go to our property tables, table A15. And you know, there's no A15E. We would use A15 whether we are in English units or SI units because this is dimensionless. All right, and I like to kind of look at this and remind myself, take a note, I'm at a PR 3.94, a TR of 1.4. All right, so I would not look at this table. It only goes from 0 to 1. It's really zoomed in. So a PR of 3.94, 3.94. So look here. Now, this is 3 to 4, so this would be 5, 6, 7, 8, nine so here's nine this last line would be nine five i think that's probably close enough right if i look at let me do a different color maybe if i look at 3.95 right that would be this line right here <clears throat> now my tr is 1.4 so i'm looking for these all right which one 1.15 1.2 1.4 and so this one, since we're right at 1.4, and going up right there, right there. All right, so this is 0.7 to 0.8. I'm going 0.71, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I think, I think it's between 0.74 and 0.75. Yeah, so I'm, I'm giving it a... Z value of 0.745, just in between, looks like in between 0.74 and 0.75. I'll give you a little bit of room, but not too much, especially with this one, because I think it's pretty clearly within 0.74 and 0.75. <clears throat> if you say 0.73, then 0.73 is down here, and so I think you would be definitely be reading it wrong if you said 0.73. Um, and if you said point, so I'd probably give you just 0.74 to 0.75, and I'm going to use 0.745. <clears throat> All right, so PV equals ZRT. You don't really have to redo this whole thing. You could just take this and multiply it times 0.745. All right, uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I just like to, and maybe just double check my answer. <clears throat> we can do this again, but it's the same value as 0 0.08149. Temperature of 523. My new specific volume is 0 0.00198 meters cubed per kilogram. Meters cubed per kilogram. Okay. All right, now, which of these above methods is more accurate? If, we, if we're only comparing these two, C would give me more accurate. So C is more accurate. Than B. All right, C is more accurate than B. Now, the property tables would be even more accurate than the generalized compressibility chart. So property tables most accurate. Next most accurate would be the compressibility chart. Least accurate is the ideal gas equation. All right, so be able to do this for refrigerant or water, English units or SI units, um, and do it, be able to do it three ways. If I ask you to, property tables, the ideal gas equation, ideal gas equation with compressibility, 
I'll make sure you know which is most accurate, which is least accurate. Also be able to calculate the error. If I say, if I ask for the percent error, then you would take this value right here minus the most accurate property table value divided by the property table value and give me a percent error. So I could ask you for the percent error for the ideal gas equation and the compressibility chart um, if I either tell you the actual value or if I, if I tell you the... Um, or if, or if you find the property table value, that is what we're calling the actual value. All right, so that's the last problem on your test. Be sure to give yourself enough time to um, do that problem. You know, part of my tests are managing your time, um, being aware of your time, and not spending 50 minutes on one problem. You've got to move on and pick up as much points as you can. So this will be the last problem on your test. We'll finish it. Breathe a sigh of relief. All right, and then submit.